Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tom here with EasyWeb 101 bringing you a video on how to uh, move your website from a subdomain or an add-on domain within the cPanel. Um, this is specifically we're using GoDaddy hosting on this one, but this should work for most cPanel hosting if you have Installatron here. So we're just going to go through the simple cloning process. We're going to go ahead and log into our hosting. Uh, through the cPanel admin here <clears throat> and right now I'm gonna go ahead and add a domain in here um, let me see what I have let's um, we'll just actually make a subdomain I'll go ahead and make a subdomain for this so let's go ahead and let me add a subdomain. You may not need to do this if you already have the domain or subdomain added to your account. Uh, in this case, I don't though. So, but we're gonna do clone for my subdomain. So I'm gonna clone my main website, easyweb101.com, to clone.easyweb101.com. I'm gonna go ahead and click the create button there. <clears throat> we'll give that just a minute to do its thing. So while we're waiting on that, I'll just go to uh, the other cPanel home screen and get navigated to where I need to go. So <clears throat> what we're going to do next, we're going to actually do the find functions quickly by typing here and we're going to type install and it's going to bring up Installatron Applications Installer. We'll go ahead and click on that and then you should see your WordPress install right here. Uh, as long as you installed it through cPanel originally. And all we're going to do is to the right of the website that you want to copy, there's a couple little icons here. This is the one that we're looking for, this clone button. We're going to go ahead and click this one. And then from here, hopefully that subdomain's been added. I see that tab is not spinning anymore. So we'll go ahead and click on this domain list and then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the domain that we want to clone it to. <clears throat> now within the selection screen um, you're gonna wanna pick the exact domain that you wanna use. So a lot of people ask do I need www or no? That, that's strictly preference, strictly up to you. You don't necessarily need it. <clears throat> um, and then as far as some, most of the time you'll have HTTP or HTTPS here. That's just up to you if you're going to use an SSL with that. So you'll go ahead and pick your domain that you're going to use. For us, we're going to use that uh, this subdomain here. And then directory, you're going to want to make that blank. Otherwise, if it says something like that, it'll be uh, like clone.easyweb101.com forward slash blog to get to the website. Typically, that's not something we want. So just so you can see before I actually do this, this is my current website that we're going to be making a copy of and then we're going to go to clone dot and you'll see there's nothing there. We get a 403 forbidden error because there's no files currently. So we're going to go ahead and hit the clone button and this should make a copy of the site. We'll give it just a minute. It usually does not take long. Now, if you have an SSL on your site, sometimes after the clone, it may give out an error. We'll see if mine does or not. If it does, we we might just have to add, deactivate a plugin. Um, if you have like really simple SSL installed, sometimes uh, it can cause an error after the clone. So we'll uh, we'll see what it does on this. If it does, I will show you how to do that along with it. Right. it says the clone is done let's see if it's giving us that error or not no it's not perfect so look at that clone.easyweb101.com we now have the site and 
it looks pretty good, with the exception that uh, for some reason my icons are missing, which is, is probably related to um, the fact that I use a Pro plugin to do that. I probably need to relicense everything. Occasionally you may run into some issues like that with the clone tool. Um, worst case scenario, go back into your page editor for that. Um, and you can reselect them inside the page editor or uh, whatever you use to edit the website. So, um, but there you have it. And you know, you can see them on the dashboard right now for it. Dashboard's working. Also, I just cleared the cache. That could be why. Okay, that's why it was. It was the uh, caching plugin within the website needed to be cleared. That's why the icons weren't showing up. So, there you go, pretty simple. Uh, just use that clone tool and you'll get it on the new domain or subdomain within a couple minutes. Alrighty, thank you. Thanks for watching.